In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss about amphibolic role of citric acid cycle. Let's first try to understand what is the meaning of amphibolic role. See, whenever we try to classify any metabolic pathway, we generally classify them as either catabolic pathway or anabolic pathway. We call some pathway as a catabolic pathway when that particular pathway is related with the breakdown of biomolecule. Whereas we call some pathway as an anabolic pathway when that particular pathway is related with the synthesis of biomolecule. In case of citric acid cycle, it is both types of roles. It has catabolic role as well as anabolic role. So that's why we call it as an amphibolic role. Here amphi means both and this both means catabolic as well as anabolic. So let's first try to understand. What is the different? What are different catabolic roles and what are different anabolic roles of citric acid cycle? See, in our body, there are various organic molecules, organic fuel molecules. For example, we have glucose, amino acids, and lipids. All these organic fuel molecules undergo oxidation and give rise to one common molecule that is acetyl coenzyme A. This acetyl coenzyme A, it undergoes complete oxidation and complete breakdown to two molecules of carbon dioxide by the citric acid cycle. So, this is the TCA or citric acid cycle. So, as you can see that this citric acid cycle is making out complete breakdown of acetyl coenzyme A. That is why we can call that it is a catabolic role. Now, what happens? In the TCA cycle, there are various intermediates. And these intermediates under certain metabolic conditions, they move out of this TCA cycle. Why they move out? Because this intermediate, they act as a starting material for various biosynthetic pathways. Biosynthetic pathways. And here what is happening? These intermediates, they are moving out. So, we can say that this TCA cycle, it is helping in the anabolism also. So, this explains its anabolic role. Now, there is one problem is created because of this moving out of these various intermediates. What is that problem? See, if TCA cycle intermediates, they move out, then there will be a depletion in the level of this intermediate. And if intermediates are depleted, then this TCA cycle will not able to carry out its catabolic, catabolic role. So, what should be done? These intermediates, they must be filled up by the different sets of reaction. So, this is the filling up reactions. And in our body, there are certain filling up reactions for this TCA cycle intermediates. And so, there will be no depletion of the intermediates, right? This filling up reactions, they are called as a anaplerotic reaction. Anaplerotic reactions. Now, we understand three terminology in relation with the citric acid cycle. One is catabolic role, second one is anabolic role and third one is anaplerotic reaction. Remember, this anaplerotic reaction is totally opposite of this anabolic role of TCA cycle. Why opposite? Because in anabolic role, intermediates are moving out, whereas in anaplerotic reaction, intermediates are being filled up. As both are opposite, this anabolic role, it is also called as a Catapleurotic reaction, catapleurotic reactions. So, if all these four or three terminology is clear, then you will never ever confuse. So, let us first try to understand what are these various biosynthetic pathways or what are the anabolic roles of TCA cycle. So, here we will discuss about the anabolic role or you can also call it as a catapleurotic reaction or you can also call it as a moving out reactions of the TCA cycle. So, from these various intermediates of TCA cycle, carbohydrate can be formed, amino acids can be formed and lipids can be formed and in addition to this, certain other molecules can also be formed. So, let us start with the carbohydrate. This oxaloacetate it can participate in the gluconeogenesis pathway and can give rise to glucose. Let us look at the amino acids, how they are synthesized from the intermediates of TCA cycle. So, for that, this alpha ketoglutarate, it undergoes transamination reaction, this transamination reaction and can give rise to glutamate. This glutamate can also utilize 
for the further synthesis of purines, pyrimidines and other non-essential amino acids. Similarly, this oxaloacetate, it can also undergo transamination reaction to give rise to aspartate. So, this is also transamination reaction. This aspartate is further utilized for the synthesis of purines, pyrimidines and other non-essential amino acids. Now, let us look at the lipids, how lipids will be synthesized. So, for the lipid, this citrate will act as a starting material. But the problem is that, that lipid synthesis occur in the cytoplasm, whereas this citrate is inside the mitochondria. So, this citrate, it has to cross this mitochondrial membrane. And citrates are easily permeable across the mitochondrial membrane. So, once citrate appears in the cytosol, it then undergo breaking down reaction to give rise to acetyl coenzyme A. And this acetyl coenzyme A is the starting material for the biosynthesis of fatty acid and cholesterol. What about other molecules? We had already discussed some other molecules. See, purines and pyrimidine, they are synthesized from the glutamate and this glutamate in turn synthesized from the alpha ketoglutarate. Similarly, over here also purines and pyrimidine are synthesized through aspartate from oxaloacetate. In addition to these other molecules, succinyl coenzyme A, it is a starting material for the synthesis of porphyrins and heme. So, these are all the synthetic reactions or anabolic role of citric acid cycle. Now, let us look at anapleurotic reactions. Anapleurotic reactions. These anapleurotic reactions, they are the filling up reaction. Filling up reaction. And these intermediates of TCA cycle, they can be filled up by utilizing carbohydrate or amino acids. There are no any other option. Let us first look at the carbohydrates. See, this acetyl coenzyme A, it is synthesized from the pyruvate and by the action of pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. So, my question is that, that this pyruvate by this PDHC complex, it is converted to acetyl coenzyme A. So, this reaction, should it be considered as an anapleurotic reaction or filling up reaction? The answer is no we cannot consider it as an anapleuritic reaction. What is the reason? The reason is, is that, that this acetyl coenzyme A, it is not the intermediate of citric acid cycle. Simply acetyl coenzyme A, it is, it is going to completely oxidize to two carbon dioxide molecule. So, because of that reason, we cannot consider this reaction as an anapleuritic reaction. But wait, this pyruvate, it has a potency to get converted into oxaloacetate by the action of pyruvate carboxylase. This enzyme converts pyruvate to oxaloacetate by utilizing one molecule of carbon dioxide and by utilizing ATP. So, ATP gets converted to ADP and inorganic phosphate. So, as you can see, this particular reaction from the pyruvate, it is giving rise to intermediates of TCA cycle. So, this reaction which is shown in the red, it is anapleurotic reaction, whereas this reaction of pyruvate, it is not anapleurotic reaction. Now, let us look at how amino acids can be utilized for the filling up or as an anapleurotic reaction. See, all the transamination reactions, they are reversible. So, here we have transamination reaction, here also we have transamination reaction. So, glutamate can also give rise to alpha ketoglutarate by the same transamination reaction. It depends on which concentration is higher. If alpha ketoglutarate is more, then it will be this anabolic reaction. And if glutamate concentration is more, it will lead to this anapleurotic reaction. And further, this glutamate, it can also be synthesized from four different amino acids, from histidine, proline, glutamine, or arginine. So, this amino acid can give rise to glutamate and this glutamate in turn try to fill up this alpha ketoglutarate. Similarly, this transamination reaction is also reversible. So, we can say aspartate act as an anapleurotic sub substrate for this oxaloacetate. The now here we have one more molecule that is pyruvate and pyruvate it also undergoes transamination reaction. Okay. So, we have alanine this amino acid, it can undergo transamination reaction to give rise to this pyruvate. But remember, all the transamination reaction, they are reversible. 
So this is also reversible. But as pyruvate itself is not intermediate of TCA cycle, we cannot consider this reaction as a anabolic role. Okay? Only its forward reaction, we can consider it as an anaplerotic reaction. And this alanine, it can be synthesized from the tryptophan. So, tryptophan and alanine both can give rise to pyruvate. And there are several other amino acids which directly synthesize this pyruvate. What are these amino acids? These are hydroxyproline, hydroxyproline, serine, cysteine, threonine and glycine. So, these are all amino acids which can directly synthesize pyruvate. Now, such direct synthesis of pyru uh, direct synthesis of this intermediates of TCA cycle occurs in case of fumarate also. See, fumarate can be synthesized from two different amino acids that is phenylalanine and tyrosine. And this succinyl coenzyme A, it can be synthesized from three different amino acids. These are valine, isoleucine and methionine. Now, this particular amino acid, these three amino acids which are synthesizing succinyl coenzyme A, this is frequently asked in the various competitive exam. So, we can remember it like successful VIM, VIM here V, I and M. So, successful VIM, this mnemonic, it will help in remembering these three amino acids and its product. Here, successful stands for succinyl coenzyme A and this VIM, it stands for valine, isoleucine and methionine. So, in this, whatever reaction I had shown in the blue color, these are the anabolic reaction or cataplerotic reaction and whatever reaction that are shown in the red color, these are the anaplerotic reaction. Okay? So, this completes our discussion for the amphibolic role of TCA cycle and meanwhile, we had also discussed about the cataplerotic reaction as well as anaplerotic reactions. So, if you have any query or confusion, please write it down in the comment section below. Thank you.